In this episode of the Media Share series, we're going to be adding a menu item to the full screen image gallery. Welcome to Mobile Applications Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so the first part of sharing we're going to be doing is uh, what's called an easy share from the menu. So we're going to be basically adding an icon on the menu. Click on that icon, which will offer you, you options to share. But before we do that, we need to actually set up a menu for our full screen image activity so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial okay so let's make a start so first thing we want to do is to add an icon to our application which will be represented as a menu icon so what i need to do here is i'm just going to dig up a file path of a shareable icon Got that, right, so if we go into resource, and add an image asset, go down in here for image asset type, select image, now go into path and paste in a new path, so your icon, whatever machine you're using, um, you'll have, just have to um, paste in the path to that. There's my path there, and as you can see in the previews, you should be seeing the icon. And now we change the name. I'm just going to call it IC Share. As such, now we can click Next. I'm okay with that. Click Finish. And just as a point of reference, um, in the um, uh, map down here is where we can, we've got all our shareable icons at different resolutions for different display sizes. Okay, we've got that here now. Now we can go ahead and start working on creating our menu. So we want to create a menu for the school full screen image activity and the menu is only going to be relevant to that activity there. So the first thing we can do here is to, we're going to need to create a menu resource directory first, just to add our menus to. So if we go down here and create an Android resource directory, and for resource type, if we select, do I have to hold that down? If we select menu, and that's all we should need to do here, and just select OK. And if we look here, across here, we have the menu directory. Now I want to add a menu resource file. And now I do have to give that a name, so I'm just going to go full image share. Select OK. Now quickly go into our text tab here. First thing I want to do is I want to add another namespace rev representing another resource basically. So XMLNS, I'm going to call this one app. And at the very top I want the resource auto added there as well. We're going to need that for some of the settings that go in the menu item. Now we can add the menu item itself. Now let's go ahead with the icon and fortunately it's given, to, given it to me automatically. So that's the first part. Now we need to add a title. And let's do this properly. Let's go down inside values, select the strings, and let's add a string tag. So I'll just call this share menu. Ah, no, let's, this one's going to be for images. So let's go for image share.
and this is called share image. Now let's go back into our menu and we can add that as a string image here. Okay, we're going to have to add a few other ones as well. Oh, we definitely need an ID, so let's do that next. And I'm going to call this, um, let's just make it simple, image share. Um, menu, image share menu ID. And I believe we have to add one more here. Let's check my reference material. Oh, show as action. So here's where we use the app. Show as action a fruit. And let's close that tag. Okay. Um, for some reason, uh, let me use a reference here. Because um, I'm using um, backwards compatible activity. In other words, I'm using the app compact activity here. That's why I have to add this extra namespace and reference there. If I, uh, or else I would have problems if I was just trying to use the Android namespace. So that's why I happen to do that. So there's a few curveballs of we're using the um, app compact app compact activity, making our activity uh, support. Um, older versions of Android basically, so we have to be aware of that. Okay, so that's now done. So we've set up the resource for our, our menu resource. Now we just have to inflate that in our uh, full screen image activity here. So this gets inflated in the on create options menu. Here, so we'll just tidy this up. We'll turn true here and now we'll do the actual inflation of it itself so we can call a get menu inflator inflate now here's where we need to pass in our menu to be inflated and it's the full image menu here and we pass in the menu here as well so our menu will now be inflated, but we also want to add a clickable listener to that as well. And that clickable listener is called on oh, options. There on options items selected. So when we click on the icon, something actually happens. Okay, let me tidy this up. Okay, I want to add a switch statement up here and put in the item get item ID. Okay, and we'll call the super constructor under the default. Let's align that. Now let's process our button itself, set up a state. Now we call the ID, uh, share image. And it is going to need to return true. Um, at this stage, we're not actually going to be doing anything for sharing anything. That will happen in the following tutorial. But we want to check that this is working. So let's put in a toast. And let's put some text in there saying what? Share image button selected. Something to that effect. Okay, so that's all the code I believe we need to do to set up our menu for our full screen image activity. Next step is to run that and see if our toast pops up and the icon shows up as well. I am getting an error here, so that's a good chance to see what's gone wrong. So it doesn't like the menu name there. So full image share. Okay, let's try that. Full image share changing. Now 
That doesn't like my shared image as well. Bad day in the office. So select that. I just want to go in there. So this image share menu is the ID we're using there. Image share menu. Okay, let's try rerunning that. Applications now started. As usual, I'm going to record that so you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm just going to select on this thumbnail here. It opens up the full min image here. Notice we've now got the shareable icon on the top right hand corner. Let me select that and there's the toast appearing just there. So we've now added a menu and added a on click listener for that menu to get us in preparation for doing the easy share in the following tutorial. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. So basically we learned how to add a menu to an activity from scratch, which is actually very good practice to understand the underlying workings. So we had to add an icon, of course, then set up the menu, menu directory and add a menu file to that directory and set up our item applicably and then we had to go into the main activity source code as well and inflate that menu and we also added our on click listener to where we set up a toast just to verify that our menu was working correctly there is a following tutorial to this which is going to be adding to this menu by putting an easy share so we can actually share that file to um, other applications or users, friends, social media, etc, etc. So if you want to get notified of the following tutorials or any of the other tutorials that I'm working on, click on the subscribe button. And I don't read any questions or requests on the YouTube itself. Uh, I'm just way too busy and there's too many requests coming through. But if you do have any urgent requests that you do require help from me and it will be paid help, you can contact me in Code Mentor. Again, the details are in the description box. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for taking the time for watching and bye for now.